Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem 4, Genealogy of the Holy War, otherwise known as Saisen no Kifu over in Japan. When we last left off, we liberated, uh, more like conquered, the uh, Castle of Marfa. Um, let's see, not much is happening right now. But I wouldn't mind going over and talking to that, uh, village down there. Send do out. Ira and Noish. Yeah, let's have Finn wait up here, just in case, you know, things. Ideen, Madeer. Oh, no need to send anybody back just yet. Um... Actually, one second while I check something. Yeah, okay, I can get it done next turn. And we'll have you wait here. End! And of course, well, there's Verdane over there. Father, this is absurd! Why do you still refuse to listen to me? My brothers already have fallen. And it's only a matter of time before they come for the capital as well! The Grand Vale Commander, Sir Sigurd, is a good man. Please, end the war while you can. I allowed Gandalf's raid only because I'd been told that Grand Vale would surely come to invade us first. Never did I intend for a war like this! It was that sorcerer, Sandima, who told you that, wasn't it? Oh yeah, this is actually with the nice brother. Sorry. You, Kinbalth and Gandalf, uh, trusted him too readily. You've all been deceived. Now, now, Prince Jamke. That's enough of that. Your duty as prince is to lead your men into the fray. Toddling in a place like this would be deeply troublesome for you. Ah, damn you, Sandema. That's enough! Jumke, listen to Sandema. Go! Lead your men into the fray! Father! Very well. If you won't change your mind even now, then I'll see this through as well. But be warned. Should I return victorious, Sandema, I'll allow you to live no longer. Sandema, perhaps all this time you may not have been entirely forthright with me. You did assure me that Grenvale hungers to claim our land, and yet... Feh! And just what are you saying now? To think, I believed you Verdonites would be of use. You truly are not but savages. You are worthless, completely and utterly worthless, and from now on your army is mine to command. What? No! Stay back! Back, I... <laughs> Feh! Feeble-minded old fool. So you put an end to the king, Sandema. Do you expect that the Verdonite army will still obey your command? Oh, Archbishop Manfroy, how long have you been there, your eminence? The army isn't of no concern at all. They need only to know the king has fallen ill. Hmm, I see. And what of the situation here? Does the plan progress? My sincerest apologies, Your Excellency. That Grenvalian, Sigurd or something, has proven to be an unexpected obstacle to the invasion. Hmm, and what of the search for the Loptian Scion? Have you found Sigurd's daughter? Eh, uh, no, not yet. Imbecile! After all the pains I've gone to to locate the boy. 
The son of Sigan is still in Valhalla, but he's worthless without the female. Listen well, Sigan is an heir to Prince Maria, brother of an emperor of the old Laptar Empire. Sigan alone is this era's er in this era inherited the sacred blood of the Dark Lord. That woman broke commandment that Maria placed upon his heirs and bore two children. Do you know what this means? Yes, your eminence. When the blood of the two heirs intersect, the second coming of the Dark Lord, Laptia, will be upon us. So, there's active attempts for inbreeding in this game. Yep, this is like Crusader Kings. Precisely. And so too shall we, descendants of the Lopter Empire, return to this world. You know as well as I, Sandemar, how heavily our fates depend upon the resurrection of the Dark Lord. You know, someone calls himself Dark Lord, maybe they're not the best person to listen to? You know well our older centuries of exile hidden deep within the... Yid Desert. You know well the abuses, the famines, how we sustained only by dreaming of the day the Empire will rise again. And at long last, that day is upon us. Understood, Your Eminence. If I must surrender my life to ensure that the plan is realized, uh, I will do it uh, gladly. Uh, no, I won't. And we have a castle guard. Sigurd's phase. Now, as we can see here, Gem K has a unique character sprite. So, hopefully we should be able to, you know, recruit him and he's armed with a killer bow killer weapons are very high-end good stuff uh, comes pursuit so double attack adept may strike foes two successful time users faster and if agile user may continue a round of battle jam K kills people he has no holy blood, though. Which is fine. <clears throat> Let's see, is it Quantox to Ira? Uh, no, it's... Oh! I think I already did that conversation, so... Yeah, that's all fine. Have you wait there? How are you doing? No, oh, one hit point, that's fine. Of course, I have to get Ideen, like, deep into this, which is not great, because obviously she's not exactly a uh, frontline battler. Uh, you have not claimed a lover yet. Neither of you, but that's fine. Okay, now let me just double check. Need to recruit him by talking with ID and uh, plan to send a Verdane, you must send Sigurd and ID. Okay, Lex can get the hero axe. Let me double check how I get that one second. Okay. 
<clears throat> not something I have to worry about right now, but soonish. So, thickets, which I think are pretty much impenetrable, and of course the woods, which... not easy. But yeah, we definitely want to take out all of these, uh, barbarians. you can go. Alright. Oh, well, let's send you to go and visit this town. Just the north here is a mighty woodland. It's called Ferret Forest. Once upon a time, I lived there too. This little hamlet deep within. The village is home last kid in the dark one of old. Lop tier. See, it all started with Saint Maria, exiled by the Emperor for daring to sympathize with mortal men. In my day, there was this gorgeous girl living there called Sigund. Last the heir of Lopter's bloodline she was. She lived her life under close guard. The villagers wary of letting the blood of Loptir loose into the world. Alas, Sigyn grew weary of the tedious forest life, and she left it all behind, breaking ancient commandments and all. A couple of years later, she came back, except now she was pregnant. Never said to who the father was, mind. <laughs> Before long, Sigyn died, even as she gave birth to her daughter. From what I heard, Hamlet's old prophet took her in and raised the girl as her own. The little girl's still alive. She'd have to be about, oh, 17 or 18 by now. She's legal. Here's 5,000 gold. Uh, thank you. Yeah, and next I need to send, uh, Lex over there. Yep, you don't really want to talk. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, unfortunately, forests are going to really, really cut into our movement. And the Verdain phase. Oh, are you guys being smart? You guys are being smart. Also, what are you guys equipped with? Axe, axe, axe. Okay, I don't think any of you are equipped with throwing axes, then. That's perfectly fine with me. Darn it. Hopefully that's close enough. Awesome it was that everyone was mounted. <laughs> yeah. I mean, overall, I 
still take mounted uh, troops over uh, ground folk, but yeah, that's gonna make stuff move a little slower. If things go real bad, what I'll probably do is go back to before I um, conquered Marfa and um, planted my troops better. Put out an iron sword. Dodge. One thousand golds obtained. Attack with the javelin and miss. Send Lex up. Dodge, smack, smack, goodbye. Ooh. Did not even try to attack do. Not gonna do the do, eh? Well, I definitely want. Ira there, front and center. To start soaking up all of that XP. Some you can move. Yes! Awesome. Enter. Yeah! Come after Ira. Dodge. Dead. Oh, this is her special star power. It makes her hit five times in a row. And that's going to go off more often because I gave her a skill ring. <laughs> yeah! Now you know why I really wanted Ira in our party.
Ah, normal attack. Oh no. I don't want to hurt you. Be gone from this land at once. Oh. Ah, jeez. I stepped this one up, huh? Well, <laughs> I did say I'd go back and uh, reset this thing. Guess I should. Yeah. Jump K is a real good shot with that killer bow. Have a good one, folks.